Uh, I see it as, as several people have mentioned, as practice for uh, dealing with a much tougher problem, which is climate change, and uh, a one that has a different time scale. And this is where Long Now comes in. Uh, where now, after this, and it, it will sort out, it'll take a lot longer to sort out than people think, but some aspects are already sorting out faster than people expected. As this thing sorts out and, and people arise and say, well, that was weird and terrible and we lost so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so and, so and, so and, so and, so and we grieve, um, but it looks like we're coming through it. Uh, humans, in a sense, caused it um, by you know, making it so that bat viruses could get into humans more easily uh, and then connecting in a way that the virus could get to everybody. Uh, but also humans were able to solve it. Well, all of that is almost perfectly mapped onto climate change only with a different time scale. In a sense, everybody is causing it by running, being part of a civilization running a much higher metabolic rate, uh, using that much more energy driven by fossil fuels, which then screwed up the atmosphere enough to screw up the climate enough to where it became a global problem caused by basically global activity of everybody. And it's gonna engage global solutions. Um, probably in light of what Jeff Foss was saying, it'll be you know, uh, innovators in cities communicating with other innovators in other cities who will come up with the needed set of solutions to emerge and get economy back on its legs much later than people want, but nevertheless, get it back. And um, and then we'll say, okay, well, what do you got next? Because there'll now be this point of reference and it'll be like, if we can put a man on the moon, we should be able to blah, blah, blah. Well, if we can solve coronavirus and stop a plague that was that affected everybody, we should be able to do the same damn thing for climate.